观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎来到紧张时刻。二零一九年七月十九日，德克萨斯州威利斯市已经爱情长跑了十年的莫妮卡和迪恩决定步入婚姻的殿堂，成为合法夫妻。这天，新婚二人选择在法官的见证下举行证婚仪式。一同来到法庭见证二人结为夫妻的，还有莫妮卡的姐姐阿曼达以及父母和亲朋好友。而就在法官即将宣布莫妮卡和迪恩结为合法夫妻时，姐姐阿曼达说出了这样一番话。Is there anybody here that would like to raise an objection? I would. I love both of you so very much, and I know the one thing in the world that you both would want so much is to have Colton here. 阿曼达提到的科尔顿是莫妮卡和迪恩三个孩子中的长子。然而，十一岁的科尔顿在二零一二年六月份的一次事故中不幸丧生。莫妮卡和迪恩在得知儿子的生命已经无法挽回时，做出了一个重要的决定，将儿子的器官，包括心脏，捐献给需要进行移植器官的人。就在这时，二十八岁的特拉维斯缓缓走进法庭。特拉维斯不是别人，正是当年科尔顿心脏的受捐者。此时体内跳动着的，正是莫妮卡和迪恩已经去世七年的儿子的心脏。虽然眼前的这名男子素未谋面。但一种母亲的直觉已经让莫妮卡感觉到了这位男子的特殊身份。在没有任何交流的情况下，莫妮卡将特拉维斯紧紧地搂入怀中。随后，特拉维斯拿出了事先早已准备好的听诊器，递给科尔顿的父亲迪恩。随后，父亲将听诊器递给莫妮卡，感受着儿子科尔顿的每一次强有力的心跳。二零一八年十二月份。莫妮卡的姐姐阿曼达在得知莫妮卡终于决定步入婚姻殿堂时，便开始计划能让当初科尔顿心脏的受捐者来到妹妹的婚礼现场，了却妹妹多年来一直未能了却的心愿。My, my sister let me know that they were going to be get, getting married. They have been together for ten years, so they decided, and this is their anniversary today. So this is、um, a turning point for a bunch of things. And when we found out.、Um, That tra- you know, when we found out about Travis and we started communicating with Travis, it was just a long shot. We didn't know what he was going to say. We didn't know how he was going to respond. And to our amazement and just shock and awe, he said yes, and we all fell in love with him. And he's he's not he's not just guys someone that received a heart. He's our family. He's a part of our families. 于是，在阿曼达的安排下，科尔顿心脏的受捐者特拉维斯从阿肯色州来到了德克萨斯州。It all started back in 1991. I was born with a bad heart, and all through my life, I've dealt with open heart surgeries, and I've had five. And Colton was the sixth one, sixth open heart surgery I had, and the right side of my heart was dying, and they put me on the transplant list. And I was only on there for three months, and I got the heart. I got the phone call on the 27th of June of 2012, and June 28th of 2012, I got the heart in me. I brought it. That's the. That's the. Am I saying that right? Stethoscope. Stethoscope. <laughs> um, for the father and mother to listen to the heart for the first time. 而主持此次征婚仪式的法官，在提前得知阿曼达的安排后，也是被感动的落下了眼泪。What's so exciting about today is the fact that this family has already made a tremendous sacrifice, and the fact that they made the choice in tragedy to give life to Travis. And as we connected, and as we were to,、uh, about to give it all the particulars of the ceremony, it, it stood out cloud and clear to me that the A great opportunity to raise awareness how important it is that people、uh, become donors, but also that their families know that they're donors, because right now, according to the federal government, there's 114,000 people on the donor list, and 10 every 10 minutes somebody's added to that list. The unfortunate thing is, 20 people a day die that are on that list waiting, and so. I, I just I, it just speaks to this family's character and how much they care about other people and the fact that they took tragedy and gave life, and then this opportunity to celebrate that life, they're going to raise awareness、uh, to to people that are going to see this segment. So I'm I'm thankful that this family is、uh, having the courage、uh, to to also take this to the next level and、uh, and inspire our community to to be ready and be prepared and to make that decision to give life. 
。莫里卡和迪恩在事后接受采访时说道。Not only do I get to marry somebody that I love, you know, and I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, but now Colton's heart gets to experience that with us. So that was nice.